We had a very interesting and, and very high quality session on management of luminal uh, breast cancer with uh, very good uh, talks. Uh, my talk was exactly how to pick up the patients who need adjuvant chemotherapy. Um, the way the knowledge is set up at this moment, it is sometimes um, better to ask the question the other way around. How can we identify the patients who don't need adjuvant chemotherapy? How can we make sure that those patients are sufficiently well treated with endocrine therapy and we can omit chemotherapy without hindering survival? And so um, major conclusion is that we need to use our traditional clinical pathological features, what we can call the traditional factors, together with the new genomic tools. So one do not replace the other, but they are best used together. And uh, there are uh, several, par uh, several evidence and types of evidence showing us that they are independently prognostic. And so even if you have access to a, no a new genomic tool, the size of the tumor, the status of the nodes are still independently prognostic and you should use both together. And there, we discuss also about the different genomic signatures that are available, what they can uh, bring us and how can they, they be best applied in the clinical practice to uh, help us identify those patients who don't need chemotherapy. And we um, went through the results of the MINDEC trial that was presented and published last year. And what, there was an update on the MINDEC trial in this conference, but focused on small tumors, um, luminal small tumors. And what we found there is that although usually and traditionally we say that tumors below one centimeter that are node negative are low risk and don't need chemotherapy, by using the genomic tool, we were able to identify about 20, 25%, so one out of four, that actually has an aggressive biology and may derive benefit from chemotherapy. So again, showing that we cannot just use staging or biology, but we need to use them both when we decide who needs chemotherapy and who doesn't need chemotherapy.